Why? I mean, she probably do a revival. You don't understand. She told she me do she, a lot of stuff. She told bro. me. She told me on on a live. She told everybody I believe in God and God helped me. Then I came on her and said said something. She said you. Nigga. No. Yes, yeah, she did. No. Yes, yeah, she did. I said, hey, yeah, there's there, not no woman. <laughs> what? There's not no woman. Hell no, you pissed off, right? No, you, a woman would never come in like that when you pissed off or not pissed off. You understand? Know you got it in your spirit. My mom will never do that because it's in her spirit. So I understand. I was raised by a woman. I was raised by a woman that said she loved me. I don't give a fuck what I did. She would never go to the internet or go never go around the family and tell what I did. She was so embarrassed when I got locked up. See, I was married. I was. I've been surrounded by women. When they say they love me, I understand it. That's why I, I look at people strange and, and strange and, and don't like it when they say I love you. I love you. You know you hang up. All right, bro. I love you, bro. Stop, stop telling me that. Y'all, hold up, hold up, hold up. You don't tell me I don't love you, nigga. Do you have pictures of me? Hang, hang it up. up. I, hang it up. Hang it up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't do that for people I don't care about. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you are wrong. Okay. Let's let's blank here. Listen, can I talk? Wrong, and listen, you can't can even acknowledge that. No, no, listen, can I talk? No, 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 no. So, so there is no reaction. You can't come over here chastising me about something you started. You don't love me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Really we, niggas believe anything. Like a nigga believe I just sit there and ran off on $500. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, you know, I'm gonna get you. back on yeah. the right? Don't try to take the $500. Don't try to take the $500. Don't try to No, she that. sent it to him. Yeah, she sent it to him. He didn't take that it. I ain't take shit. She and I promote it. it. July 6th. Mama Scott talking about we Tyler got some goddamn artists. We gonna see it. East Texas, East Texas, if you the hottest nigga in East Texas, you signed up right now, one of the judges. I'm finna see what y'all got, cause really, I don't think it. So I'm bringing my artists, and then y'all come. And if you can't mess with my artists, I'm sending you country niggas back home. East Texas, I will be July 6th in Tyler, Texas. Tyler, Texas. Mama Scott, bring everything y'all got. I'm bringing everything I got. I'm one of the judges to see if you niggas hot or not. And she, I can't already told you and from I, the beginning. And I can show you, take my, my promotion. You do it wonderful. Thank you. Look, yeah, our numbers are supposed to go up. And now, he didn't just told us in the beginning of this conversation. He getting money, he don't give it back. Yeah. So he didn't made it straight. Yeah. He don't discriminate. But, she, but listen, the problem is you could have made a lot of money with me. So now, your next event... When something go wrong, they gonna say, "Rain, you right." Stop exposing your hand. But she shouldn't do that again. You want she won lost sixty thousand the first time and yeah. twenty thousand. She need to find another line of work. She need to get a job. She need to do something else because that's she shit. own stuff. My, she I, no, 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 no. I know she, she ain't broke. I'm saying like you know. But go, you, you losing money. Do a praise. Do a, do a, do a revival. This man, something else. Why? I mean, she probably do a revival. You don't understand. She told she me do she, a lot of stuff, She told bro. me. She told me on, on a live. And she told everybody, I believe in God and God helped me. Then I came on her and said, said something. She said, you <laughs> nigga. No. Yeah, she did. No. Yeah, she did. I said, hey, yeah, there, there, there's not no woman. <laughs> what? There's not no woman. Hell no, you pissed off, right? No, a woman would never come in like that when you pissed off or not pissed off. You understand? You got it in your spirit. My mom will never do that because it's in her spirit. So I understand. I was raised by a woman. I was raised by a woman that said she loved me. I don't give a fuck what I did. She would never go to the internet or go never go around the family and tell what I did. She was so embarrassed when I got locked up. See, I was married. I was. I've been surrounded by women. When they say they love me, I understand it. That's why I, I look at people strange. And, and strange and, and don't like it when they say, I love you. I love you. You know, you hang up. All right, bro, I love you, bro. Stop, stop telling me that. Y'all, hold up, hold up, hold up. You don't tell me I don't love you, nigga. Do you have pictures of me? Hang, hang it up. up. Hang, hang it up. Hang it up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't do that for people I don't care about. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you are wrong. Okay, Point listen. blank period. Listen, can I talk? wrong. And listen, you can't can even acknowledge that. No. No, listen, can I talk? No, 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 no. So, so there look. is no reaction. You can't come over here chastising me about something you started. You don't love me. I hate that when niggas say that. I just hang up. I, I already know certain niggas when they say, when they finna say I love you. I say, all right, I'm calling you back. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? If niggas tell you that all the time. You better not. Yeah. If you tell yeah. me you love me, you gay. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I don't believe You're not gay if you tell somebody you love them. Niggas say that all the time. Yeah, you faking. Not everybody faking when yeah. they say that. What, I mean, what would make you love me? 
Yeah, well, but yeah, you gotta same. understand. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's, two, it's it, different it, it types of love, man. It ain't one kind of love. And if there's that, a romanticism, no, there's a there's no, a God no. love, no, unconditional no, love. No. You got love for your daughter. No. You got I, love I for your kids. To fuck my daughter. Man, okay, no. but it's still but, a love. But, it's different but, types but, of love. But, you but, niggas is talking but, crazy. But look, you know what? And we there's different types of love. We look up love in the dictionary. Only one dictionary. Only four. No, no, no. Back in, I was in San Quentin. Here we go. Here we go. We got a picture. We got a picture. I ain't even got a girlfriend, uh-huh. so they had this book called The Perils of Love. Right. We on a nine month lockdown, so Negroes got to philosophizing over the tier, the different degrees of love. Love is this and love is that. Damn. This is the degree Damn. of love. And we ain't, none of us, we got life sense. We had a girl, we, we mas- young masturbator. You get what I'm saying? So this dude, we used to call him uh, uh, um, uh, Curtis Mayfield. He did about 30, he had done about 20 years, they had some murders, and he had a way to keep off everybody. He stayed dirty. Cell was all messed up. Never talked. 52 months, I had never heard him say a word. 52 months? 52 months, I was there. Never heard him say a word. Go to child, come back, and the mother would never say nothing. So all of a sudden, he hollers, hey guys, what, hey, the, <laughs> what the f is this? Who on the hell? I said, man, that's Curtis Mayfield. Curtis Mayfield, we talking about love and this and he said, hey, hey y'all, you know what? You know what love is? He said, what? He said, love is two fools feeling sorry for each other. I said, what the f*** you mean, man? You ain't lying. And I said, so it and was like, and then when I got out, I was selling dope. And I, matter of fact, I was leaving. Tell me they feel sorry I was, me. I was leaving Houston, Texas. I got my girl. I come back home. I got a Samsonite suitcase, $80,000. I'm feeling good about myself. I go outside, dip me a cigarette, hit it by the pool, come in the house, sitting down. And this chick come in the bedroom with a butcher knife. Stood over the top. Martin, if you somebody else, I love you. I'll kill you. And came to my mind. Love is two fools feeling sorry for each other. <laughs> when I got from under that knife, I ain't been back with her since. <laughs> the f- I don't feel so that. So how old was you when you got out? Got out? 27. You did 25 years? Yes. And you got out when you were 27? Not. First time was 15 years. How long? So you went from? 15 then 10. Oh, seven, oh, first time was 15 years. Right. And then how why you go you back? Stay out? Two years. Okay. And then why you go back? Possession of being black. Couldn't beat it. No, you was a gang member. And they lock your ass up and do the rest of your time. You gotta realize yeah. when he first went to prison, gangs, the different gang it was different type of gangs. It wasn't oh, even yeah. Crips and Bloods oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.